What's going down, beautiful people? I'm Valet Delroy. This is Rob at the Valet. And today, we're having our second video in our series of living in forward motion. Four things that are going to help you keep or get moving when or if you're feeling stuck. This is a Living to be Known production. I appreciate you being here. We're talking about stage two. And stage two is the stage of production. Okay? The stage of production. In the first video, we talked about a prototype. And so... Hopefully, you're getting practical and principled ways that are simply just going to help you along your journey. I appreciate you being here with me. Let's get into it. All right. What's going down, beautiful people? Welcome back. <clears throat> Excuse me. Now, as a quick recap in the first video, okay, stage one was all about prototype about finding and being able to build your confidence to basically copycat a prototype. This is something that's going to get you started moving again. Because what do we start with? We start with the desire, okay? And then we have to uh, move forward with our will. Sometimes we don't feel like we have the strength or the ability to just get going in something to get moving in something, to start something, um, to pick something back up, to revisit something, however you want to define it. It could be real paralyzing to think about um, stepping back into said arena of different areas of life. So what do we, what do I advise? One of, one of the things I was advising is that we find a prototype, an example that we can look at that would give us inspiration, uh, be a tool for information that will be a guide to take some first steps towards uh, the direction that we are trying to head or the thing we're trying to get to. So whether it's in a relationship, whether it's in work, whether it's in personal work or personal self-development, uh, whether it's in a project um, or even something simple like the way you cook or clean or organize or speak. We want to find a prototype that we can look at that's practical, that makes sense, that would be a good example to say, you know what, if I do step one here, step two here, that would get me going again in this area, in this direction, so that I can move forward, so that I can feel like I'm starting to move forward. But what is stage two? Stage two is all about production okay production our first stage is prototype because we want to be a little bit more familiar we want to build our confidence we want to be inspired be motivated somewhat see someone else doing something that we believe we can also do or mimic not to get uh, the fullness of what someone else is doing to have their results right but to see them active and actively and or passionately or uh, just simply doing, functioning, moving in the direction, in the thing that we also want to do. Then, what do we have to do? We have to be able to move beyond the intellectual, the desirable action, right? The, the willful action of taking the first step, okay? And finding this prototype and seeing this prototype, which isn't a one-day thing, which isn't I just binge-watched a bunch of videos, but you're really kind of doing some research you're thinking about the mindset, you're thinking about the background, you're thinking about the method, right? Because we're talking about something that's very practical, that we can practice, that we can do ourselves, and something that's very principled, something that makes sense, that isn't just um, a toss-up in the air, so to speak. Um, it's not just a dream that we vision that we can't see or that we um, have never seen before. And if it is, then maybe in small steps, our prototype is doing a part that we can copy that will lead us in the direction where we fill in the gaps for what we want. But it starts there, and then we must produce. We must move into a stage of production. And why do I say that? Because a prototype is just a first type and example. After you've seen that example, you have to make an example. You almost become an example, right? You start off with a physical, tangible, projectable, uh, scalable prototype of your own 
that you can produce, that you can see, that you can witness, that you can better, that you can grow from, right? We're not just going from zero to 100, right? We're going first gear, zero to 15, right? We're tapping a pedal here. Um, we're, we're moving slowly, okay? And this is very important. This is why in my first video I said a lot of people move on to stage two and revert right back to stage one. You see, we do a lot of watching. We do a lot of asking questions. We do a lot of um, brain work. But then when it comes time to show our work, to start getting involved in the work, we don't necessarily always get the results we are trying to get, that we hope for. Sometimes things move slower. Sometimes things accelerate so fast that we don't feel like we're ready to handle it. Sometimes we're doing work and we're doing what we believe is good work, but we feel like it's just not going as far as we want it to. And then sometimes we don't like that. Sometimes we give up or sometimes we think, um, what more can we do? And we revert back to our prototype phase. We start looking for a new prototype, a new method, a fresh method, a fresh inspiration that can distract you from the product that you just made yourself, the success that you just had moving from the prototype phase to a production phase, okay? So that um, you can present, right? You can present um, not only to yourself and your desire and the thing that you're going for, um, an, an object or a thing or a record, right? That uh, proves that now you are in motion right you are in motion you might not be sprinting you might not be full-on jogging but you started walking okay uh, you started writing you started tinkering you started speaking you started um, to implement these small steps that you were inspired by uh, when you were doing research in your prototype and now you become a producer hopefully you see this as a good thing. Hopefully, you see this victory, right, as um, an, an achievement, an accomplishment, and not as a failure, not as something that's not good enough, not as uh, something that's taking too long. Because remember, our desire is to get in or stay in motion, forward motion, right, where we don't feel stuck, where we are not stuck. This is not about uh, maximizing or leveling up or, going, like I said, going from zero to 100 or becoming um, what you think the end product of what your desire or the, the place that you're going is to be. This is just the beginning, okay? But this is a very practical way, a very simple way that I believe um, that if we just take a chance to implement um, that if we, uh, even if we don't feel like doing it, begin to do it, um, that action begets uh, the feeling, right? Rather than the other way around. We don't wait around for a feeling in order to take part in an action because feelings come and go. But what we want to do is lead, right? Um, or guide our situation into uh, what we believe will elevate us, okay? So if we start to do and start to do good and start to think about it good and start to practice on it and get better, um, that progress should, and I would hope, make us feel better for ourselves. We don't need someone else to see our results. We don't need someone else's accolade um, handed to us unless we have an accountability partner or someone or some people who are, have partnered with us, who are around us, who we've shared uh, what we're trying to do with, who can look at us and keep us encouraged, and they've uh, agreed to do that. But in this stage, okay, the focus, again, is not full-scale, maximized results, um, right? This is just a step to get going, to keep going, to stay in motion. Maybe you want to uh, send that message send that text, make that call, um, reconnect with somebody um, so you could get a relationship back in motion. Uh, maybe you need to start writing again. 
Maybe you need to start jotting and scribbling to get your creativity back in motion. Sorry, I'm stuttering. Your creativity back in motion. Maybe you need to start pulling out the, the instructions to start building that thing you intended to build or start reading up on some books to understand um, an area that you've been trying to grow in. Or maybe you just need to smile more, look yourself in the mirror and say, it's going to be okay and we can do this. Whatever it is, I want to help you to keep living in forward motion. You were meant to live in forward motion. From the day you came in, it's nothing but forward motion, right? And I just want to inspire you to see it that way because there's no sense in going back. And sometimes we might look back, but that's just to help us to continue to go forward. So I hope you are living in forward motion. I hope you keep living in forward motion. I hope you're living to be known. My name is Valet Delroy, and this is just a few minutes to share with you how to keep living in forward motion, how to be living in forward motion. Um, stage two of the four things that are going to get you going or keep you moving when you are feeling stuck. Thank you so much. I hope that something in this video um, you can take and help. Of course, there's plenty more examples and plenty more things that I can say, but I'm trying to keep it uh, straight to the point and as um, easy as possible because these are things that we can do and that we want to do um, that are that might not feel like they're beneficial now but in the end when you look back if you look and examine and say you know what what did I what was my prototype doing and what what did I start to produce wow okay I've done something. I'm moving. I'm, I'm step one. I'm step two. And then the next video will get into step three. So thank you for being here again. I'm Valet Delroy. This is Robert the Valet. Living to be known production. You can take what's in your mind. Turn it into something valuable, tangible for you and others that will benefit them. All you got to do is be willing, believe, and get to work. I'm Valet Delroy. This is Robert the Valet. A living to be known production and I'm here to follow up pick up as I should say on stage two of our living in forward motion series where I'm telling you about four things four stages that are gonna help you to keep moving or get moving if or when you're feeling stuck in some form some way at some point in some area of your life 